So last year, a tennis superfan commissioned me to paint this portrait of Rafael Nadal. So I'm going to take you step by step through my painting process. I always start by painting in green scale, and I was sort of inspired by the Griselle technique of Renaissance artists. They would do a grayscale underpainting and then build layers of color on top of it. For some reason, green works really well for me. So I use a pretty limited palette. I choose one of each primary, red, blue, and yellow. And I also use white, black, and a lot of gel medium so I can create many, many transparent glazes. And I build the glazes up layer by layer, detail by detail, and eventually I get something approximating realism. I pay the most attention to the flesh tones because in a portrait the face is the focal point and if you want the picture to be believable you really need to put extra time and extra detail into the flesh. Now, I used a reference photo, but I took a lot of artistic license. For example, there was no hand in the reference photo. I actually painted that hand while looking at my own. I also simplified the background quite a bit so that I could get my sort of high contrast, pop art, graphic sort of design aesthetic into this piece. And the last thing I do is put on a glaze of gel medium just to equalize the sheen and make sure that everything is safely trapped underneath. And this is actually what the piece looks like hanging in the client's house. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you create some photorealistic paintings yourself.